Hello. We're here to tell you about the intricacies of D-Web addressing. So we start here where we have content pads. These may look familiar. This is our default representation. We're happy about it even though this flipped upside down. Oh, I'm sorry. Slickies are challenging. We have this. Check mark. We already have it. Then we have gateways. The trouble with gateways is that we're tied to a specific gateway, so we have this sort of inherently location-based thing built in. And when we use gateway slash IPFS slash CID, there's no isolation between the websites that are loaded via gateways. So we can like secretly read each other's cookies, etc. That's bad. We're sad. Um, so the next concept we have is subdomain gateways. So for example, http colon colon backslash all the slashes cid.ipfs.gateway.toplevel domain. So we're still tied to a specific gateway. Um, sorry, in this specific example. And, but this particular setup is already implemented by Cloudflare, uh, which we are happy about. So both formats of subdomain gateways, the other one being http colon slash slash cid.ipfs.dweb, this, could, this one could work offline. It would require custom TLD and custom browser, top level domain and browser, uh, but it's not tied to a specific gateway. And in both cases, these would, because of the way that browsers work with URLs, we would have to use CIDV1 base 32 because they are case insensitive. Um, but we love this because it creates properly isolated websites so they're more secure, but that also requires additional config. Um, so this part we have, we don't have this one. And then the potential direction to go from here, um, you may have already seen if you use Beaker Browser that there's a DAT uh, protocol. So instead of the HTTP, you see that. We could think about having IPFS or IP, IPFS slash CID or IPNS slash key. Oh, and there's other stuff we could do. <laughs> 